Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So in this video what I want to do is share some tips on how you can grow amazing hair by the vitamins, supplements, minerals that you are taking. Now many of you who've been following me on this journey know that I grew my hair from bald to about over 15 inches in under four years and my hair continues to grow and thrive. Now there are multiple reasons for that but in this video I'm going to focus on vitamins and if you are dealing with any sort of thinning, breakage, if your hair is just growing slowly or if your hair is growing and flourishing and you want to continue to have your hair grow and flourish then you're going to want to stay tuned to this video so with that being said let's get into it now one thing that I want to say before we get a little further into this video is that if you are watching this video or if you've read blogs or have watched other videos on vitamins minerals nutrients supplements like that before you take anything please speak it over with your doctor first your doctor is going to have your medical background some history on you your doctor can take blood work everything that I share in this video is really things that I've found have helped me they've helped others however everybody is different so make sure that you speak to your doctor before taking anything that anybody recommends online the second thing that I want to bring up before moving into this video is that when I was growing back my hair I did multiple things to get amazing hair growth definitely taking vitamins supplements minerals nutrients that sort of thing is definitely a big part of why I was able to get amazing hair growth which is why I want to share it with you in this video however please keep in mind that you definitely want to make sure that you are checking your products making sure that you are using natural stimulating products you want to make sure that you are looking into your diet I stayed a lot of other great tips in my previous video so you can go check that out now one of the reasons why I felt like it was really important for me to share why vitamins and nutrients and supplements are so important is because it really does help you to get certain things that your body needs to grow amazing hair now for many of you who watched my previous video you know that I talked about regimen diets and all that stuff vitamins and nutrients was a part of the diet section and it's very important that you focus Focus on taking certain vitamins nutrients and supplements that your body might not be getting so if your body is not getting the important vital nutrients that it needs to grow amazing hair to nourish your hair follicles you are not going to see amazing growth so before I was really growing my hair I did a lot of research I looked up a lot of very key nutrients key vitamins that I really wanted to experiment with and I really wanted to take and those are the ones I'm going to share with you firsthand however these are not not the only ones I took I share everything in my detox diet uh, ebook so you want to check that book out if you want more specifics on all of the vitamins that I was taking and what they were good for now before I list out some of the more important vitamins that I was taking when I started my journey I want you to know why taking certain vitamins are important for your hair growth now there are about three key reasons why taking a vitamin supplement nutrient mineral I'm gonna kind of interchange between those words so you know don't say is it a vitamin or a nutrient nutrient or supplement different pills are called different things depending on the company and depending on what they actually are so I'm just going to interchange the words but I'm going to stick to the word vitamin or supplement now if you are taking a certain vitamin for amazing hair growth that is going to help your hair growth in about three different ways now one of those ways is that it actually helps nourish your hair follicles which is extremely important especially if you're having hair growth issues why it's important that the vitamins are nourishing your hair follicles is because as your hair grows out of those hair follicles those hair follicles need to be healthy the healthier those hair follicles are they can help to nourish that growing hair as it's growing out of that follicle it can help to make sure that that hair is growing healthy and strong so that is extremely important another reason why it's extremely important is because if your hair isn't even growing out of that hair follicle the, the vitamins that you're taking is going to help to stimulate hair growth from the inside out which is super key especially if you're dealing with slow growth or your hair isn't growing at all now another important factor why you want to make sure that you're taking very key nutrients and vitamins for you is because when your hair does come out of the hair follicle and it's growing you want to make sure that that hair is growing strong it is growing healthy certain vitamins are very good for certain things there are some vitamins that are very good at uh, making sure that that hair is strong making sure that your hair has elasticity making sure that your hair has con it's conditioned it's nourished it is shiny it is strong and and so many other great benefits for the actual hair strand so you want to make sure that if you are taking vitamins and nutrients that it is focused on whatever the hair growth issue is one thing that you should know before taking any vitamins is that you want to make sure that you are following the directions on the package one thing that I don't particularly follow is that I take a lot of my hair growth vitamins and minerals at night and I did a video based on why I do that and I think it's called my hot oil night 
time regimen. You can check out that video. I'll actually leave it in the description down below. Make sure that you are following those directions because it's very important that if you are not taking the vitamins properly, you might not get the benefits. So now, in my previous video, I focused on reasons why your hair may not be growing and flourishing. Now, one of the points that I spoke about in that video was your diet. Now, if you're eating a healthy, balanced diet, then you are going to be getting nutrients, vitamins, and minerals in your diet through your food. However, in some cases, in most cases, our lives are very busy. We're all over the place. We are not getting the amount of vitamins and nutrients and minerals that we need to maintain a healthy body, to maintain a amazing hair growth. So what I want to do when I focus on this video is explain to you not only why some of the vitamins I were, was taking was very important for my body and my hair, but why it might be important for you as well. So with that being said, I want to share some of the vitamins that I was taking and why I felt like they were important for me to take. Now one of the vitamins and minerals that I was taking when I was growing my hair back uh, was echinacea. Why I was taking it was because years ago, my mother-in-law was telling me that echinacea is really good for a healthy immune system. It's an immune booster. And if you are dealing with hair loss issues, hair growth issues, immune issues, then it's very important to focus on taking something that's going to help build up your immune system. If your immune system is strong, it will help your body to be strong. And if your body is healthy and strong, it will produce amazing hair. Now, along with making sure that your body is healthy and your immune system is strong by taking echinacea, echinacea has actually been linked to have anti-inflammatory properties. Now, I was dealing with alopecia areata and doctors will tell you that at that 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 particular hair loss condition is an autoimmune issue and there is inflammation somewhere in the body maybe on your scalp maybe in other places I don't want to get into that there's a lot of details going into alopecia areata however I did know that there was some sort of inflammation somewhere and I wanted to make sure that I was taking something that reduced inflammation echinacea has also been linked to alleviating pain so if you're having any sort of scalp issues or inflammation that is making your scalp feel sore and tender. Echinacea is another one that you really want to look into. And another reason why you might want to look into echinacea is because it has been proven that it helps with skin issues. And once again, if you're dealing with alopecia or other scalp issues, you want to make sure that you're taking a natural supplement that is geared towards helping your skin. Now, another one of the supplements that I was taking was I was taking a multivitamin, a daily multivitamin, and by, by the sounds of it, of course, you know, you're thinking, well, that makes sense. You know, you're getting all the vitamins and, and minerals that you need from that. However, mine was a little bit more controversial. I ended up taking a prenatal vitamin now, for those of you who don't know, a prenatal vitamin is a vitamin specifically for people who are trying to get pregnant or they are pregnant or after, directly after they had the baby. Your body needs many things during those critical parts of that process. And I felt like because I was not the healthiest person, I felt like because I was dealing with hair loss issues, I felt like I needed as much nutrients that I could get and I felt like that was the best choice for me at the time. I definitely realized I had more energy. I realized a glow in my skin, uh, a sheen in my hair. I noticed that it did help me out However, if you feel like that's a little controversial, you can stick to a one a day women's uh, vitamin or if you're a man, stick to a one a day. You're going to get amazing benefits. Now, another important pill that I was taking was I was taking a fish oil. Now, many people know that fish in general is high in protein. That is not why I was taking it. I was taking it for the hydrating factors. Um, I have suffered with very dry skin all of my life and I was told that taking a fish supplement would actually help to moisturize, hydrate hydrate your body from the inside out and I can tell and I could tell that not only was my skin moisturized it was softer and shinier and it wasn't as dry but I realized that my scalp and my hair was really shiny I felt like it was moisturized and hydrated so I continued to take a fish supplement because of that another reason that I was taking was because I also heard that fish oil is great for immune boosting and like I stated before I wanted to make sure that my immune system was as healthy and strong as possible. Now another reason why I was taking it is because of the omega-3. The omega-3 has stimulating properties uh, especially on your hair follicles and it helps to nourish your hair as it's growing out of those hair follicles. Now the last reason why I was taking a fish oil supplement is because I heard that it was really good with blood circulation. Now another vitamin mineral that I was taking was silica and silica has been proven to help to strengthen your hair strands to get your hair growing thicker and healthier and 
and it has so many benefits for your body in general. Now, zinc is also great for hair growth, amazing hair growth, and zinc has been linked to helping people who are dealing with hair loss. It has been linked to prevent hair loss and to help to reverse hair loss in some cases. So zinc is definitely something that you want to look into if you are dealing with hair growth issues or hair loss issues. Um, some other very key vitamins and nutrients that you want to look into are the B complexes and iron. Now, based on everything that I stated, I have a hair growth ebook. It's called the Detox and Diet ebook. It's not the hair growth one that a lot of you are buying. It's the other one for diet and detox. And in that ebook, I state a lot about the vitamins that I was taking, the minerals I was taking, and I stated why I was taking them. So the ebook goes into a lot more details on vitamins and minerals, but it also goes into a lot more details on the diet in general and other detox practices that I was putting into place to make sure that my body was healthy, to make sure that I was getting amazing hair growth. Now, if you are interested in that ebook, you can go to my website and check it out. Now, if this video has helped you in any way, shape, or form, or if you really want more of these type of videos, please give this video a thumbs up, like the video, share it with anybody who you feel like needs some of these tips. And if you have any tips at all that have helped you when it comes to vitamins and minerals, other supplements, leave them in the, the leave them in the comments down below because it really helps people and it helps myself who are continuously trying to learn on this journey. So go ahead and leave what vitamins and minerals you took that have helped you on your hair growth journey. And besides that, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to this channel for more amazing hair growth videos. And if you are not following me on Facebook or Instagram, please go follow me on Facebook and Instagram because that is how I'm staying connected with you 2017. And besides that, thank you so much for watching another one of my videos. Don't be a stranger. Let's stay connected and I will see you soon. <laughs> Bye guys.